A uh, brief overview of what we're going to do. I'm going to um, bless um, this place, but I need your help in the blessing part. Okay. When it comes to the part where uh, we bless this place, we're going to spread out and touch a light, a tool bag, or a punching bag, or the pillar, or the mirror, uh, as we consecrate this, this area um, during the consecration part. So I'll just start us off with uh, the greeting, going to opening prayer. I'm going to quote a scripture and give you a two-minute uh, message from that scripture. And then uh, the consecration. And it should take us about 15 minutes. No worries. Um, all right, let's begin. Lord, prepare us to be a sanctuary. Pure and holy, tried and true, with thanksgiving, I'll be a living sanctuary for Jesus said, listen, I am standing at the door knocking. If you hear my voice and open the door, I will come in. Dear friends, we have gathered together to seek God's blessing upon this home, this studio, this gym, which by the favor of God and human labor has been made ready. This space is not only a dwelling place, but a symbol to, God, to us of God's loving care. Amen. And of the life together as the family. Let us together bring praise and thanksgiving for goodness and mercy and for our communion. Offering ourselves as God's servants and as loving sisters and brothers to one another. Let us pray. Almighty and everlasting God, grant this space the grace of your presence that you may be known to inhabit this dwelling and defend this household through Jesus Christ our Lord, who with you and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns one God forever and ever. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Our scripture today comes to us from 1 Corinthians chapter 9 verses 25 to 27. Athletes exercise self-control in all things. They do it to receive a perishable wealth, but we an imperishable one. So I do not run aimlessly, nor do I box as though beating the air. But I punish my body and enslave it, so that after proclaiming to others, I myself should not be disqualified. Mm. And what this scripture is actually complementing one of the focuses of the, uh, the New Testament, which is, it is dangerous to be idle. Living an idle life, being an idol is dangerous. And so we constantly have to fashion and mold this body by exercising, by training. Everything we do that Paul talks about, because that's the era, era of gladiator, is training the body, training the mind, training the spirit. And so we're here not just doing air movements. We're here training mentally, spiritually, so that we could be defenders of our home, disciplined in our walk with Christ, defenders also of the community. And that God's grace may dwell about in this space. Amen. And so that is our prayer for this space. Amen. Is that everyone that walks through these walls, we're equipping them. And resourcing them to be defenders of the faith. Amen. And what I would like to ask is, if we could spread out through the room and touch anything 
I'll touch the door. And then, uh, just point the camera at him, point the camera at him. The microwave, make sure that all the food we cook there is blessed. <laughs> so in consecration of this space, in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, we can consecrate this space, this microwave, this punching bag, this door, this entrance and this exit, the mirrors, the pillars, and everything in here, and those who come in and out of this space, we consecrate, committing to God's love and care, all that dwells and come in here, therein. Let your love rest upon it, and your promise presence be manifested in it. May the members of this space grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. Teach them to love as you have loved us and help us all to live in the peace of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. And the people of God says, Amen. Amen. Thank you. All right. You.